Hi everyone, it's Claire Stone with your weekly angel and tarot guidance. Today is Sunday the 5th of September and look, we have got incredible weather. I have finally moved into my new home. There's my little office. I'm absolutely loving it. Hope you've had a fab week. Today I'm going to be reading for you with Radley Valentine Angel Wisdom Tarot and Kyle Gray Cheeky One Angels and Ancestors. So I'm going to go ahead and shuffle and see what have we got in store this week? Oh yay, the sun, incredible start to the week. The sun card, this is Archangel Uriel. It's a time when you are feeling like you have found the light, you're on the right path. This is about joy, happiness, how incredible it feels just to have that life giving sun shining upon you. A great time of joy and success epiphanies that lead to opportunities, things that work out. So beautiful start to the week. We have got the sun. Next card. Oh, so midweek we have got the page of cups. This is another nice card. To me, the page of cups speaks about when you are given an opportunity. So there's an invitation midweek and it's something that stirs your heart in a nice way. So it's a very sweet card. It's a time when your intuition is strong. People who make you offers are genuine at this time. So expect invitations, uh, maybe perhaps on a date or going for tea with your friends or something, but this is a, a nice invitation to something nice. Nice little card for midweek. And of course, it's lovely to be going out again. End of the week, we have got, oh yay, full house of good cards, eight of wands. So we started off with that sun, feeling good, feeling optimistic, feeling clear, that sense of clarity in the air and feeling upbeat and energized. Then we've got the page of cups, which is people supporting us, people offering us, genuine compassion and invitations and then we have got the eight of wands i love this card this is when you have knocked on doors in the future and they've been closed the opportunities just haven't been there it's not been the right timing now is the time the wheels are going to be in motion towards the end of the week and you are heading in the right direction you might feel a sense of being swept up within all because this is when things happen fast but trust that you have aligned yourself to the, the desired destination. I'm sure this card came out last week. I feel like I'm repeating myself. Loads going on, things heading in the right direction. Might feel like things are all up in the air, but they are heading where you intended them to go. So that is a generalized reading for the week ahead. Beautiful cards, really lovely energy. Now I'm gonna pull one for each of the signs and I've actually wrote them down and I'm gonna check them off because I know last week, very naughty, I forgot Gemini, sorry Gemini. So we're gonna start off with Aries. So what is in store for Aries this week? So we have got the Page of Swords for Aries. The Page of Swords is when you can be feeling a little bit like you're taking things to heart. The key to this card is don't shoot the messenger. Um, if you are receiving some kind of news, then allow yourself to really step into your heart. This is when you can be very much in your head, but this is a step into the heart and take a time out so that you make sure that you respond from a place where you are centered within your energies. Taurus. Taurus, we have got the two of pentacles. You are going to be busy, but this is a business that you can handle spinning many, many plates, thinking about money, thinking about business, thinking about everything. Make sure you keep your feet on the ground. Stay grounded, Taurus. Gemini. Oh, yay. Gemini, you have got the king of pentacles. Again, this is a money making card. And this is saying, are you thinking about applying for a new job? Are you thinking about self-employment? Whatever you're thinking about with finances, you are just winning. This is saying the abundance is coming. Material success, worldly success, being recognized as a master in your field. Fantastic cat week for Gemini. Cancer. Yay, the six of cups for Cancer. This is a very sweet card. It's the soulmate card. It's also the card of nostalgia. People around you, past life, 
soulmate healing situations coming up but this is also you thinking about your childhood and perhaps meeting up with old friends family members people from your past it's when you're reminiscing and thinking do you remember when it's a very very pleasant card leo leo we have got the wise counselor can't get my words out today um unity with a spiritually minded community so of course this has got to be the hierophant the cross keys gave it away for a split second i thought oh my gosh which card is this <laughs> it's definitely the hierophant this is a spiritual week for you it's time for you to be your own guru but also find your spiritual community somebody else can help you to unlock the keys to your own personal heaven it's not about giving your power away but it's about coming together with others for the higher good there could be someone who crosses your path some kind of spiritual teacher um a, a group of healers they are meant to help you to elevate you to the next step on your journey someone around you has got brilliant information that can push you on whether that is on a personal level or whether that is on a spiritual level lovely card virgo oh virgo we have got the page of pentacles this is a fab card are you wanting to learn something new this is learning everything there is to know about a particular subject you can see she's got head in the books if you invest in little courses or books, any type of education at this time, it's really going to set you up for the future. So this is about coming to the drawing board, thinking about how can you make a little bit more money? Uh, what is it that you want to learn and pulling it all together? It's really going to benefit you. So go ahead, do it. If you're thinking of doing a new course, do it. Absolutely do it. Libra. Libra, we have got the three of swords this week could be a bit emotional for you there's some kind of healing some kind of heart healing and you can always call in your angels when you need some extra support i'm thinking get some crystals have some heart to heart and definitely have some you time this is definitely a time for you thinking about your own needs your own healing what you need put yourself first at this time so that you can receive some some healing and, and don't isolate yourself. Make sure that you've got people around you if possible. Scorpio. Right, Scorpio. Two cards actually came out for you. We've got the Ten of Wands and the Hanged Man. So, first card that came out is saying that you have been working so, so hard. You definitely need to take a break. You need to fill your own cup. And you need to do that by being in limbo. By limbo taking a breather taking a pause from all of the tasks that you are usually doing when you are in this place of solitude that's when you're going to replenish your energies get some great ideas because in the traditional in the rider weight smith tarot he's holding these sort um ones in a way that he cannot see the direction in he's going but if he turned them and held them on another angle, so that we're talking about perception now. So if you can, both of these cards are speaking about how you're seeing things, looking at things in an unconventional way. That can be um, how you can find the answers to the best way to moving forward. Sagittarius. Sagittarius, we have got the Five of Cups. The Five of Cups comes in when we can be in that mindset of looking at the cup half empty. So this is the card of perhaps things not turning out the way you had wanted, but do not fear because there is still something there. Again, it's about perception. And instead of focusing on your challenges and losses, looking at what is going right. We all have them weeks where things don't always seem to be going our way, but we've got to trust in the bigger picture, the bigger plan. The universe knows what's going down. We need to trust and keep doing our meditation practices to realign. Capricorn. Oh, yay. The Wheel of Fortune. I love this card. Destiny is shuffling things around for you so that you are on the perfect path. 
have you told the universe what you would like to manifest? Because if not, then you leave things to fate. Destiny is when you create your own reality, your own future. Things are getting moving for you in a good way. It's the good karma card. Fantastic week, feeling like action, excitement, synchronicities, lots of synchronicities in the air. Aquarius. Aquarius, please do not worry about finances this week. That is the card that you have got. And this card suggests that things aren't always as bad as we may seem. This is a fear of not having enough. It doesn't mean that we don't actually have enough. So again, there's a lot of perception cards going on this week. So there could be something collective in the air about how we're looking at things. Um, reach out for assistance. Start saying affirmations. I'm a magnet to money. Money comes easily and frequently. Whatever affirmations you like to use to manifest abundance, you need to implement them this week so that you don't feel out in the cold. This can be also reflect when there are people in your life and you feel like you're not part of it, so you're not part of the clique. It can feel like an emotional not part of something. So again, surround yourself with people who have got time for you and get those positive affirmations going. Pisces. Pisces, we have got the exact same card, the Five of Pentacles. So this is when our negative thinking or our worries and fears surrounding finances, we fear that we haven't got enough. And that is what I call poverty consciousness. So we have the power to slip into prosperity consciousness. And the way we do that is through gratitude. So I have been there with um, poverty consciousness when I wouldn't buy things for myself, but I would buy them for my children. So I did have the money for them, but I didn't feel worthy of receiving it. You are worthy. You do deserve to eat good food, to have a good life, to have your needs provided for. So do we need to look back at these negative beliefs that are instilled within us as children? Money's the root of all evil. Waste not, want not. They were all part of my paradigm when I could not manifest anything because I didn't feel like I deserved it on a core level. That is for you, Pisces and Aquarius this week. So I've managed to fit all of the videos in perfect time so that we can watch this on Instagram. Yay! So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to choose an angel card. Now I have got Archangel Michael coming through before I draw a card and Michael is bringing through sunflowers. Sunflowers means smile. It's about happiness. It's about choosing to face the sun. Sunflowers will turn and face the sun. We need to do that to have that sunny, positive attitude to help us get through whatever's going on in the world. Choose to see the light, choose to see the good. And that's what Uriel card was coming in at the very beginning of the reading for everybody, the sun card. Right, what card have we got? Thank you. Oh, see Now this is perfect because it says on the card, see beyond the current situation. So again, nearly all of these cards this week for each of the individual signs, I've been speaking about perception. So perhaps we, our perception is veiled this week. We are all influenced, our emotions, by the collective, by the planet. This goes beyond us. It's not just all about us. So see her, see beyond the situation. So when this card comes out, I feel like it's a time for not taking too much action, to do more pause time, to do more meditation, evaluating things and try not to judge things. We can't help it, we're humans. But if we are judging things and situations at this time, we haven't got every part of the puzzle. So we might come up with the wrong conclusion. I'm gonna do another cheeky one. I've got about 15 seconds. Ooh, Medicine Guardian, be open to healing information. This is Archangel Raphael coming through with the angels and Mary, the angels of the emerald golden ray. Receive that healing. Ask your angels to bring healing light to you at this time. Situations are ready to be uplifted and healed. Thank you, Raphael. Thank you, angels. So I hope you have a beautiful, wonderful week and I will see you all soon. Lots of love.